Hello friends! I know it's a few days late, but Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! I know for a lot of us this year has been a difficult one, a more lonely one than years past, but despite everything, I hope that you were able to enjoy yourself and make the best of it and still have a lovely Christmas. I know a lot of people were not able to spend Christmas with their family, which is heartbreaking during this time of year, and my heart goes out to you. Being with loved ones and doing Christmassy activities is my favorite thing about Christmas. So even though I'll be showing you the presents that I got for Christmas, really my best presents aren't ones that I'll be able to physically show in this video. Like seeing D'Artagnan meet horses for the first time on Christmas day. Oh, are you so excited? Dude, look at, look at him. Oh, kisses, good boy. <laughs> or Jared teaching me how to snowboard for my first time. You got this, babe. Now do your little stop. Whoa, she's a pro! Nice! Or Christmas dinner with Jared's family. All those things I'll be able to treasure and remember more than these physical presents. I do still love gifts though, and gift giving is one of my love languages, especially when they're personalized and it make me feel like the person who's giving it to me knows me so well. I think that's my favorite thing about gifts is just feeling so seen and known by that person. It really makes me feel loved because like, I don't know, it just shows me how well they know me. And these gifts that I got this year are probably the most personalized ones I've ever received. I just am so, so grateful for every single one of them, not just because of the physical gift itself, but because of the meaning and sentiment behind it. I've been spending my break eating all of my Christmas chocolate from my stocking and watching films, playing out in the snow, and watching what I got for Christmas videos. I watch them every year and I just think they're so fun, but I never thought of filming one myself because I don't want to come across as trying to show off. But I thought since I like watching these, maybe you guys do too. So I did a poll on Instagram and asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing this type of video and 95% of you said yes. So here we are. So I am going to start off with one of my favorite, favorite things about Christmas morning. And that is my stocking. Just because again, it's so personalized. Jared went all out this year. It is absolutely bulging. <laughs> so first are these sea salt butterscotch caramels from Trader Joe's. I could eat bags upon bags upon bags of these. They were so good. And then he got me this handcrafted bar soap set also from Trader Joe's. I smell so Good, and I'll take it off so you can kind of see what they look like. They're so pretty. I love them so much. Like this could have been its own individual present. I love it. And then he got me these mittens, which are so nice because they have the little flap for your fingers. I really love the color. And then he got me my favorite sour gummy candy. It's these blue raspberry sour strips. I'm really kind of picky about my gummies. I like them to have a good texture and a good flavor. And especially with sour candies, I'm like so particular about what sour candies I like. And these are super, super sour, which is what I prefer. He also, <laughs> he also got me these beagle black licorice or like little black licorice beagles. I grew up eating black licorice. I don't know if it's kind of like an acquired taste, but I love it. He also got me this Ghirardelli. Am I saying that right? Is it Ghirardelli? A uh, peppermint bark? A loofah? Because it's always good to get new loofahs. We always give each other like shower toiletries. And then, oh my gosh. He got me the Laneige sleeping mask. I have been using a sample size one of these for months um, and he knows how much I've been loving it. So he got me a full size. This is so good for when your lips are super, super dry in the winter and we live in really high altitude. So this is perfect for me. I know it's a bit expensive, but living here where it's so, so dry, it's worth it. Um, and I'm so grateful that he got this for me. Then he got me some peppermint hot cocoa mix, which he knows I'm constantly trying new hot chocolates and peppermint is one of my go-tos. And then of course he got me the Ritter Sport marzipan. This is my favorite brand of marzipan to eat. This is what I have been eating all week since Christmas. And then this little bon maman. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Bon maman. Um, it's a little fig preserve. So, so small. Oh my gosh. I almost don't want to use it. It looks like a little fairy preserve, like the little fairy would use. It's so, so cute cute. And then he got me these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And then I think there's one thing left. Yes, it is this bath bomb. We usually go to Lush, but there's a newer store that opened recently that's more, it's a, like a locally produced bath bomb. This one is lavender. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so, so, so nice. The best stocking ever. Why did I just say stocking like that? So that is my stocking. Even just that is so amazing. I can't believe how much he stuffed in here. I just still can't comprehend the gifts that I got. Ugh. 
I'm so grateful. This first one, <laughs> I had been, okay, I had been stalking this website. Jared had known, he knows that I had wanted this for so long. It was just sold out every day. I was on an email reminder list and I had just been trying to get this and I don't know how he got it, but he did. And it is the Shakespeare and Company tote bag. This is the actual one from the bookshop in France. I've seen some of these on Amazon and Etsy, but this is the real one <laughs> from the bookstore. I watched an interview with Anya Taylor-Joy and it was a what's in my bag type interview and she had this as her bag and I already love tote bags it's just it's like my dream tote bag it's so beautiful I still can't believe he got it I'm so grateful and then he got me this Harney and Sons Little Women Orchard House Blend tea it's so beautiful even just the tin uh, it's so so it so captures I don't know the aesthetic of the book I have little women on like all the time just playing over and over during winter so this is so so, so perfect. Then, oh my goodness, this one is a fox. Um, it's a hot water bottle cover. This is from Etsy, and I know that because I actually put this on my wish list. Foxes are one of my favorite animals, and I always sleep with a hot water bottle, like a Dasani water bottle in my feet at night. I just fill it up with hot water and I put it down there, but now I have a proper hot water bottle. So take off his nose, not take it off. <laughs> you unbutton his nose and then you can fill up the hot water bottle that's inside. And this is just the most lovely and thoughtful gift because he knows my feet are always cold. And then he got me this calendar from Randy Lynn Reed. I follow her on Instagram. She does the most amazing illustrations and you guys, <laughs> This is just the most beautiful, like, oh my goodness. Look, okay, this is January. And then we have February. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare. I'll try to hold it a little bit closer. March, April, May, June, July. It's so pretty. I love that it's kind of almost like autumnal already. <laughs> August, I also love that August is autumnal. Absolutely perfect. It's two foxes that are having a tea party. And then September, October. This is my favorite. It's so detailed and beautiful. And then November and December. So cozy and perfect for Christmas. And it's the perfect size too because it's not so big. My chair is so squeaky. <laughs> and then I have the red mushroom mug, but Jared got me the brown one, so now I have both. So it's just a really cute little mushroom mug with a brown little top. This was something I never even told him that I wanted, but he just knows me so well. And then on Christmas Eve, this one isn't actually from Jared. I actually got this one for us, kind of. So I got us both Weasley sweaters from the Universal store, uh, Universal Studios. So he got the Ron one and I got the Fred one because I just I adore the Weasley twins and I love it it is so cozy I will say though that this is itchy so I do wear like a long sleeved t-shirt or like turtleneck underneath but it is made in Scotland 100% wool it's really really good quality it is a bit pricey but I think for an item that I'm gonna wear for like tons of years to come that it's worth it this is Jared's realm sweater I think I'll be borrowing this one <laughs> sometime. Okay, and then this next item, Jared knows that I've been getting a lot more into journaling. Not like the fancy kind of bullet journals that a lot of people do. I really just love to jot down my thoughts and it really helps with my anxiety when I'm just not having a good time. I don't know, like expressing myself through writing it down and knowing that nobody's gonna read it except me is just kind of therapeutic. And so he got me this Ferris wheel ink or the Ferris wheel press writing ink. This is from their, one of their most recent collections. It's this brown vintage ink that is just so beautiful beautiful. You can't really tell that it's brown. It just looks black, but I know when I write with it, it's going to be this very vintage style kind of deep brown color. I can't believe how much time and effort he put into getting me these gifts. And it's a decent amount of ink, so I will get to use this for I think years if I don't use it too too often. And then this item is small, but one of my absolute favorites. You might not be able to see it very well. It's this bookmark. It's gold and it has this bust on it with a little bit of pink. And then you just slide it. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. You slide it on the paper like that. 
and then you can just close the book and I think it's so beautiful definitely my favorite bookmark that I own and now I think I want to collect more like this because they're so unique and then he got me some Totoro socks Totoro is my favorite Ghibli film I love anything Totoro and these are so 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 soft and I have two because he said he didn't know if I would want the shorter ones or the longer ones but I'm not complaining I will gladly wear both of these also I apologize for the car noise outside rush hour has started a bit now so I can't help it they're so loud and we live on a busy intersection which I will not miss when we leave here in a few months Future Desi here with a little word from today's sponsor, Wondrium. I actually meant to work with them on a video earlier this month, but some things came up and Wondrium was so great and flexible. So I'm very grateful to them. And I'm really excited because I kind of view Wondrium as a gift to myself this year. One of my favorite evening activities is research. I love looking through old archives, watching documentaries, and Wondrium fits right into that because Wondrium brings you engaging educational content through short form videos, courses, tutorials, how-to lessons, travel logs, documentaries, and so much more. They're academically comprehensive and thoroughly researched, and the more academic videos are presented by experts in those fields. I'm currently watching this course called The Celtic World. Can't believe the amount of information that I get out of every single lecture. For example, I just learned that the name Viking isn't actually an ethnic name. It's more of a description of an occupation to go a Viking, which means to go out raiding. So the people that we now call Vikings would have just called themselves Norsemen, or or Danes or something like that. And I never knew that before. I'm also currently watching a documentary on the life and works of Jane Austen, as well as a course on crocheting for beginners. So if you're anything like me and you love learning or you love history or even starting new hobbies, I highly recommend Wondrium. You can check out Wondrium using my link wondrium.com slash darlingdesi for a free trial. I will also have it down in the description box. And thank you so much again to Wondrium for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video. And then I got absolutely spoiled with the most beautiful books. These first two are from Jared. I never really thought that I would own these editions. Okay, this is a Folio Society edition of Emma by Jane Austen, which is my second favorite book of all time, just after Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. It is cloth bound and the spine is so beautiful. The front is just I don't have words. I, I can't believe you got this for me. This is such a comfort story. I reread this multiple times a year and this is gonna be something that I can hand down to my children and hopefully they'll hand down to their children. Something that I will be displaying in my future library that I have someday. It just, it means so much that he thought to get me something that's so special to me, a story that means so much to me, that's more than just a story to me. Um, yeah. I'm so, so grateful. And then this next one was such a surprise. I can't believe he got me another one from Folio Society. So this is Venetia by Georgette Hare. She's another one of my favorite comfort authors. I haven't actually read this one, but every other book that I've read by Georgette Hare is such a good time. I enjoy them so thoroughly. And this is such a treat because if you know Georgette Hare, you know her book covers are quite deplorable in terms of like, it's such a beautiful story with just a not good cover. Even Stephen Fry writes the introduction for this one. And he says, from the absolutely appalling cover art that has defaced her book since she was first published, you would think Georgette Hare, the most gooey, ghastly, cutesy, sentimental, and trashy author who dared put pen to paper. The surprise in store for you, if you have not encountered her before, is that once you tear off, burn, or ignore those disgusting covers, you will discover her to be one of the wittiest, most insightful, and rewarding prose writers imaginable. So Stephen Fry agrees that her covers are usually just so ugly and don't do her stories justice. So this is such a beautiful treat, uh, something that I can't even imagine. I can't comprehend that I actually have this in my hands right now. The illustrations are so beautiful. And then I'm also so excited for this one. <laughs> this is so thoughtful of him. Um, so Jared also got me Why the Germans Do It Better, Notes from a Grown-Up Country by John Kempfner. A lot of you know that I have German heritage and we have considered living in Germany before and I just, I love learning about Germany and I think this is the perfect book for me to read. I'm trying to read more nonfiction. And then along with Germany, I can't believe my mom sent me this book from my childhood. I don't even know 
how to say this because it's German. There's an English translation that she sent me as well to go along with this German one. I grew up reading through this book and it absolutely terrified me. But at the same time, I loved looking at the pictures over and over. Let me just show you what I mean. He is cutting off the boy's thumbs and then down here, the boy doesn't have thumbs anymore. The Germans really know how to write literature to scare children. So thank you so much to my mom. This is again, it's so personalized, something that she knows I love. So this was extremely meaningful. And then from my sister-in-law, she got me the Mina Lima edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. What's so special about this one is the inside, the illustrations. Like here we have the Weasley house and you can see inside Harry going to Diagon Alley. It has some pop-up elements as well. And then going back to Jared, he also got me the selected works of the Bronte sisters. And this one has two of my favorites, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Jane Eyre and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall are two classics that I reread every year. This edition is so stunning. It has gold edges and such beautiful end pages. And then Jared also got me Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's The Annotated Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, edited with an introduction and notes by John Mateson, Matson. You guys see, it's such a beautiful cover underneath the dust jacket. I cannot wait to read it with all of the annotations. And there are pictures and illustrations as well. And then my dad is kind of like me. He loves giving personalized gifts and he gets really excited about gift giving. It is the perfect day at the Borough Print um, I follow this artist on Instagram, but I can't remember her name. I'll put it down in the description box. She is amazing. I, I'm, I'm like losing my mind over how beautiful it is. This is the best angle that I can show it, but this is something that I just, I will cherish forever and I can't wait to hang it up. And then my dad also got me this Jane Austen mug, the most beautiful Jane Austen mug. It has quotes from all of her books. The one from Emma where Mr. Knightley is saying, if I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. Um, and then he also got me this mug as well, which says, in a world full of princesses, be a witch. And then on the other side, it's personalized. There's a witch with red hair and blue eyes. My name right there as well. I love it so much. So my sister Paris got me this stuff. This is a sweatshirt embroidered with Taylor's version. I love Taylor Swift so much. She's my favorite artist of all time. She always will be. And this year Taylor has been re-releasing her album so that she actually owns them and Paris knows that. So I can't believe she took the time to embroider Taylor's version on this sweatshirt. I love the color. I'm, I'm obsessed. I love this so, so much. And then, oh my gosh, she's so cute. She got me a bumper sticker and it it says, follow me to the forest, which I kind of think of as like if a fairy had a car, like they, they might have this bumper sticker on it. And then going back to my mom, she also got me these socks that have this beautiful lace dealing, dealing <laughs> detailing up at the top. They are quite thick and very soft. I love the color. I love the color of the lace of the socks because if you guys know me, I don't really like white, but I love anything off-white, cream, beige, almond <laughs> so my mom knows me so well and i i just i love these socks are one of the best presents i always get so 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 excited about socks and then she also got me this really really comfy and cozy sweater that i think will be perfect to wear when i'm editing because i like to just wear cozy baggy clothes this is so big and cozy and i'm so excited to wear it this winter so if mom if you're watching this thank you so much and then my sister sheree she got me this edition of Clockwork Angel. Never read anything by Cassandra Clare and Cherie has been trying to get me to read Clockwork Angel for years, but she says that I shouldn't listen to the audiobook because the narrator isn't so good. She knows that that's how I read most of my books. So she sent me this beautiful edition so that I will read it physically, which I definitely will do. And this edition has artwork in it as well. It has a map of Victorian London. I believe it's Victorian London. And then this is so sweet and so thoughtful. My sister Hallie, she sent me, I don't know if it's gonna focus right, but she sent me this little flower crown that I can wear. It is so cute. It's so thoughtful because I make flower crowns for myself all the time during the summer, but they die. And so this one's nice because the flowers are fake, but I can reuse it all the time. And then finally my biggest 
physical present this year, which I, these have all been insanely like big to me. Um, but this is, oh, I can't, I can't believe Jared found this for me, but it is the Animal Crossing edition of the Nintendo Switch. A lot of you guys know that I've been getting more into games this year because it has really, really been helping with my mental health. When I'm having panic attacks or feel out of control, if I focus on a game, it really helps me kind of pull out of that like spiral. He got me the cute Animal Crossing edition because he knows that I like pretty things. So even just that alone is so thoughtful of him. And then to go along with it, he got me Animal Crossing, which I have never played before. I have been spending my Christmas break playing this like every day and I'm having such a good time. It is so fun. It's just so cozy and such a safe, happy place to be. We were actually driving up to go snowboarding the other day and the roads were getting really slick and really icy and snowy. And I was kind of starting to panic a bit, worrying that we were maybe gonna slide off the road. I had seen other cars that had slidden off and I was just getting really nervous. I pulled out my Switch and I started playing Animal Crossing. I just didn't look at the road. It really kind of helped me focus on something else. So already it has been so helpful. Um, Jared's, I mean, he's really into games and so he's kind of happy that I'm getting into games as well. I'm just, uh... I just, I love it. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. Not just the physical things, but just the thought behind it all. It makes me want to cry. I'm so grateful. I really hope that you had a good Christmas and I hope that you spent it with loved ones. If not, I hope you were able to make the best of it. And you know what? If not, that's okay. It's okay to have a hard time this year. It's been so hard and I can't even imagine how hard it has been for some of you. I send you my love and I hope that we can make 2020 so much better than this year was. I cannot wait to see you guys in the new year. I have a lot of good content planned that I cannot wait to share with you. Thank you so much for being here. I just, I just want to hug every single one of you and show you the love that you show to me every single day. I love you guys and I will see you in 2022. Bye friends.